Hi, my name's Katie Skilton and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a faux embossed look using our Creative Backgrounds dies. So I'm going to be using the journal die to create little journals and we'll have a look how we get this effect on these. So we're going to start by doing the die pattern. So I'm going to bring in my fold away machine. And because we're using a big die, we only need to get our two clear platforms this on and we'll start by cutting the front and the back cover so we're just going to place two pieces of cardstock like so and we'll run this through the machine so this is now our front and our back cover and we'll put them to the side for a second and we need to create the spine of the book so I'm using all the Sizzix cardstock here Trim a piece here, and I'm going to cover it. This part here, which creates the spine. As you can see now, my cardstock's moved. So bear with me. I'm just going to cut another one of those. It's not hanging off the edge this time. There we go. So we're going to cut one of those. And there we have so there the spine. So a couple more pieces to cut. I'm going to keep this one because I want to use that one in a minute as a page tab. And we're just going to cut a couple of little tabs here that I can just use to decorate the journal in a second. I'll take this colour here, and this colour here, and you can see here there's a little arrow there, and there's a little banner, so we'll just die cut those. I'm going to pop those to the side, and we can use those in a second. that we need for the time being from this guy. And that's going to create your front covers. You're also going to want to create some pages. So it's really easy to create the pages. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can cut lots of the front covers and you can glue in a spine. Equally, you can just fold pieces of cardstock. So if we take some scissors cardstock here, I'm going to fold this in half. And then my score line, let's just trim this down. It's going to slightly miss the end of the page. So that's going to give me a folded page rather than one flat page because my score line is missing off that cutting section. And then in a minute, we can attach this to the journal using some elastic. So you can see now I've got a page that opens. So I'll just do a couple more of those. So again, Literally just fold the page in half, make a nice score line, trim it off so it doesn't hang out the die cutting machine. And we'll add that so that the score line slightly misses the cut line. This is what gives you the folded page. We'll run it through the machine. we've got another nice opening page. Now obviously you can add as many of these as you want to. Now to create the actual background we need to take our thin lip die. So I'm using the creative backgrounds here. So this is the one I'm going to be using and I'm going to take my, all my plates now. So I need all of my platforms in the machine. I'm going to choose a colour. So I'm going to choose this kind of brownie colour here. How we're going to create the background so place it onto your plate 
and then you place your die cut on top of your cardstock as you normally would. This time we're going to use some press and seal to hold all the die cuts in place because rather than them coming out we want them to actually stay in place. So pop that on there and then this is press and seal. So basically it's a food kind of um, item, almost kind of like a cling film but stickier. So when you stick it to your die cuts it's actually going to keep them in place. I'm going to place that over the top of my die and I'm going to press that down quite hard because these little pieces in a minute that come out normally we want to stay in place so that we keep the pattern. See when we run it to the machine it's going to stick it down as well because the pressure is going to make it really stick. There we go. So when we remove this all of our die cuts are still stuck down. So I'm just going to place that to the side and I'm going to move my big shot out of the way so that we can see how we piece it all together. So obviously this is a fold away, so I'll we'll fold it away and pop it out of the way there. We'll just remove all the pieces we don't need. So I'm going to take my cover now and I'm going to stick this down. So I'm going to make sure all of those pieces are now stuck to this press and seal. Hopefully when I remove, you can now see that they're all still in place. There's a little one moved there, so we'll pop that one back in. Any that move, you just, just use your pokey tool and you pop them back in. One missing piece actually, so let's see if I can find that. I mean, it's hiding there, so we'll just pop that one back in as well. was determined it's not gone back in. You can always sort those in a second when we glue them if it's a couple. So then we're going to take a glue gun. So I'm just taking a thin nozzle glue here and I'm just going to add a drop of glue to each of those pieces. We'll sort that bit out in a minute. It's determined it's not going to stay. A little drop of glue each of the die cut pieces. There we go. I'm going to remove that one for a minute because it's not going to play so I can stick that one back there in a minute. So we're going to take our front cover and we're going to line this up so that it sits on the front like so. We'll give that a good press down now. Remove our pieces here. So then just using your pokey tool you're going to pop those pieces out They now stick to the cardstock rather than the die cut. Just make sure they're all there. We will carefully remove this. So you might have a couple that are just not going to play, so we can easily take those now, and they're easy enough to just line up. Try not to touch any of the others. There we go. And then we've got the couple here that didn't want to play just now. So we'll add those in. Once you've got your pattern, it's easy to see where they go. There we go. So we'll just leave that to dry for a second. You can see now you've got this lovely faux embossed look. So we'll take our cover while we're doing this. This is the actual bit that binds the book together. So you just need to fold along those score lines. You should get them nice and straight. And then we'll just use some wet glue. So I'll pop some wet glue along this side. And this will be our back. Just line that up. And we'll pop some wet glue along this side. 
could use double sided tape as well if you wanted to. Just preference. And we'll glue that piece down like so. If you've now created, you've now got your little book. So we just want some, oh, that's not going to stick. Let's just hold that in place for a second. So if you wanted to, you could use a little paper clip or something to just hold this until it dries. Just give it a good press down. There we go. Pop that to the side for a second, and then I'm just going to take my bring my fish chop back in, and I'm just going to cut some words. So I'm going to use the journaling phrases here. We've got, and these are lovely because these give you like a drop shadow as well. So we'll take these. A little piece of leftover cardstock that we've got, so we'll use that one there. And this piece here, and again, we'll just double cut. Again, so just pop this out. So let's get this out. I'm actually going to have to cut this one again because I've missed off the Y. I'm not having a very good morning with missing pieces off. There we go. Pop that in. Now we'll cut it again. Attach those together. So let's move the big shot out of the way again. And now I can show you how you piece it all together. So this should now be dry enough for us to be able to touch, play around with. So what we're going to do, we just want to add the word diary to the little backdrop shadow there. Just add some small dots of glue. And we'll line that one up. So now we've got that one. We can just add some more decorative pieces. So we'll take our little banner that we've got here. We'll add that to the top. And we've got our little arrow that comes with it as well. So we can add that one to the top of the page. Now it's kind of you can see now that it's all coming together. Nicely. So I'm just going to take some 3D foam tape to add this word diary on just to give it some dimension. Add that one on. And then we can start adding our pages. Add the diary part there. So as I said before, you can use a spine, you can die cut a spine and you can stick the pages to that. Equal, if you want pages that are removable, you could take some elastic. So we're gonna take got some turquoise elastic here. Got my bead threaded on it so that I don't lose it. And we're literally gonna take our journal, and wrap some elastic round and we will tie it. Little knot, so it's quite tight, but not so tight that it's bending your cardstock. Enough those pieces and we can spin that around now so that'll sit on the inside we can add in our pages so we'll add the pages in there as I say you can add cut lots more of those and add as many as you like but it gives you the ability to take the pages in and out and then finally I'm going to add a little bit of a bead embellishment so that it keeps the diary closed so thread the bead onto some elastic and again, we're just going to tie this in a knot so it's not too tight, but equally it's not too loose that it falls off either. Give that a little trim here and here. And we'll spin this around so that our beads 
comes into the front. And then that leaves you, let's move that knot, that leaves you with your journal. My, my elastic's not playing this morning either. See, it's gonna be one of those days, can't we? Make sure it's tighter, so we do a double knot in this one. on the front. So this gives us a little journal. So if I move all of this out of the way and I can bring the others in, I've got a little paper clip here so I'll pop the little clip on as well. You can see here, and this shows perfectly just the faux embossing that you get. So you can see here that you've got this lovely raised effect and actually what you're doing is you're using the negatives left over from the die cuts. So these are normally the pieces that you would cut out and you would throw away. So you've still got the other part as well that you can use for another. But then you can use it to decorate your diaries in different ways. So that one I've added a pom-pom. Actually, if I open one of them, I can show you how the pages have been added on this one. So this is using the spine to add the pages. So lots of different ways you can use these. But I just really like the foam embossed look and obviously you can use that on your cards as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you for joining me. If you want to keep up with our videos, then make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see every time we post a new video. But in the meantime, any questions, please let me know. And thank you for watching. Thank you.